Just a few days ago, the VR Jam happened, a game jam where you need to make a VR game in a short amount of time. This year, I had the pleasure to host this event with no less than four others VR creators, with one goal in mind, bring the whole VR dev community together. But we didn't expect this to happen. 600 people answered the call and made in total more than 100 games, breaking previous year's record and making it the biggest VR Jam ever. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my personal favorite game of the VR Jam 2022 in no particular order. So the theme of the jam was one time used, so what can we use only once? Maybe a player's action? This is an interpretation that some contestants tried and which led them to some really interesting mechanism. For example, in Rift, you are cursed with Midas Touch. Everything that you hold is turned to gold, so you are not allowed to grab object more than once. This clever mechanism is used in various puzzles throughout the whole game, from balancing objects to playing the piano, a really clever take on the theme in a well-polished game with a great atmosphere. In Punch and Mole, it's your fist that you can only throw once, so you will need to be extremely cautious if you want to hit all of the villagers. Yep, the creator of this game must really hate the cities they live in. At first, I was really blown away by the beauty of the environment, but I was left even more surprised by the clever design and puzzle around that simple mechanism. You see, you can change the direction of the punch, make some object fall, or even some explode, which is super satisfying. A lot of levels and a really cool selection system for the menu. Really one of my favorite entries of this year. Now, instead to do an action only one time, maybe it's an object that you can only use once. And I wasn't expecting this approach to generate this much variation of tools and weapons in all size and shape. We add melee weapon, like in Biggest World where you are fighting against wave of enemy, colorful spell like in Ghoul Gambit, and of course lots and lots of guns like in Viral Load, where you will have to fight for your life dashing and firing against different enemies. But one idea that I particularly enjoyed was in Welcome to the Simulation. In this game, you can control the body of defeated enemies. What seems to be a simple idea turns out even cooler the more you play. You can use it to get your health back and to access more powerful weapons. This will quickly make you think in which order you need to kill your enemies, an idea worth polishing and pushing into a full game. To come up with using something only once, some people made their game around ways. This is a case of Terminal Shift, where you are an alien that needs to collect old trash. Or Cooter Succulent Lucians, where you need to serve food to wasteful people that will throw their trash at you. But another great example of this approach is ML Factory. Look at this game, this is beautiful. In ML Factory, you are another robot dedicated to your job at sorting trash. The aesthetic of the game is just so perfect and I really enjoy the ending, which I will not reveal in this video, but that you can find out for yourself on the submission page where you can download this game as well as the other entries of this jam. Maybe adding more gameplay and animation to the end could improve the playability of this game, but congrats anyway. So this game jam lasted 9 days, which is a bit longer than usual. This not only allowed more people to join, but we really noticed how this helped to better polish the game, add storyline and perfect the look of the game. And a good example of this is Box in Time. This silly game puts you in the shoes of an office worker that finds a strange box on his desk. And with this unexpected friend, you will travel to different timelines that each have their own style and puzzle. Surprisingly, card game really fit the theme of this jam. In Cards of Destiny, you can pick three cards with different abilities and only use them once. What felt at first like a game where you need to save as many humans as possible, quickly take a turn once you are asked to save an exact number. This will make you precisely calculate which card to use and when, and leave some really interesting challenges. On the plus side, I really love the feel of this board game and nice idea to add some interactivity with the lamp. So I don't know if this next game counts as a card game, but welcome to One Time Swipe, a game that feels like your typical Black Friday shopping spree. You are going to need to find all cards hiding in the scene and swipe them all. Simple, yet super addictive. A game worth at least a try. As for all game jam, we have always more unique games. This is the case for Reclamation of the Ancient Minds. This game makes 3D action game with VR, which is not that often seen in a game jam. You can collect spells to defeat your enemies, but as you guessed it by now with this jam, you can of course cast them only once. Very impressive entries with great gameplay. 
Talking about using spell wands, another one of my favorite entries of this year is One Trick Wizard. Another unique entry with this time a turn-based game, where you are crawling through an obscure dungeon, cutting thin spell and fighting for your life. This game got some super satisfying moment when you combine multiple spells to kill all monsters at once. And something else we don't often see in game jam is game that will challenge your creativity. In Douche Art, you collect objects around the scene and glue them together to create beautiful art pieces that will captivate the audience watching. The mechanism is really solid and this is a really unique idea. But talking about bringing your imagination to life, some people did it literally. In Scrunch, you start by doodling on a piece of paper and end up fighting your own creation. This is super cool and a really a clever idea. I can really see this even go further, maybe where you can draw some allies or even draw your own weapons. And there it is guys, that wraps up all of the games that I could fit in this video. Of course, I couldn't fit all entries, but I highly encourage you to go give them a try in the each.io page that you will find in the description below. A big shout out to the winners of this jam that are appearing on the screen right now. This year was incredible. I want to say congrats to everyone that participated in the success of this event. Be assured that we will come back even stronger next year for another round and hope you enjoyed this video and as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to not miss the future one. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.